parliament uh, around the program that if we really expect to come to them close to the date of uh, arising of parliament, there might be problems. So there's a sense of agency for us to finish our work so that there's an indication as to when are they getting the names. Then we, we really looked at what uh, is important to do, but which can wait maybe for a shareholder, like the exit interviews, and, and just looked at what is critical in terms of the Broadcasting Act uh, to do. Hence, we thought the sooner we should list, the better. So I would really like to apologize for any inconvenience that this might have caused. Uh, but I hope in the spirit of the commitments of the members, people have said we'll give this a priority all the time. And we all had to put aside whatever we wanted to do so as to make sure that we go through this exercise. So hence the agenda of today. Uh, we then have this, the, the two item agenda. Uh, is the adoption of amended 2019 first term draft committee program and, and the short listing of candidates for South African Broadcasting Corporation. And again, for today, we thought it will be difficult to do short lists for both. Hence, we focused on the SAPC uh, board. So that's the agenda that is in front of us, those two items, honorable members. I don't have any apologies. Uh, yes, Che, can I come in? Yes, please. Okay. No, Che, I, I think I'm uh, coming in to uh, indeed be with you and um, uh, uh, raise a hand to support uh, the meeting proceeding today on the basis of the fact that you are saying the parliamentary program give us pressure that uh, the exit interviews may not be held now. It could be a matter of a later stage, but it's important that we proceed uh, with the shortlisting uh, because I think time is not on our side. Also raising my hand to uh, confirm my understanding and raising uh, that uh, with regard to uh, the MDDA, we have it shelved and we proceed with only the SABC. So I'm raising on that to propose that. I think, Chair, uh, you are correct. We may amend the agenda in that fashion. Thanks. Chair, I also, on the MDDA, I want to just ask why we're not uh, going to proceed. And um, in the previous meeting, I uh, ask the question um, about the rumours, or the, we heard that uh, USASA and MDDA is going to merge. You said that uh, there will be feedback on that matter, and I also want to know with regards then towards that, how the process of the MDDA board uh, nominees will affect that, and how those two, if the merge should take place, what will the outcome of that be? How will that influence this whole process that we're going to do? Chair, I must say uh, <clears throat> I'm very pleased that um, we are shortlisting. Uh, I was very disappointed on Tuesday that um, the process was de derailed, but we are moving on from that and we're moving forward. So I'm happy that we are shortlisting. Um, I'd like to request that the vetting process begin immediately so that that isn't uh, another issue that causes a delay. 
So as soon as we finish shortlisting, the process must start and we can interview while the process is ongoing. So we do not have to wait for the vetting to be done. Um, the vetting must start and we must interview. And then uh, when we decide, um, we, we can have that information. But I don't think that uh, should be something that stops us from interviewing. And then I know, uh, Members, some members are very, very attached to the idea of exit interviews. So there is a briefing by the minister on the 14th of March um, on the state of the department and its entities. If members would like to have exit interviews to better understand what's happening at the SABC, there's an opportunity. But certainly, we will. I don't think it's a good idea to have. It's, we don't have time to do exit interviews before we inter be, uh, before we start the process of shortlisting. Um, I'm very pleased, Chair, that uh, sanity has prevailed and we're moving forward. Thanks, Chair. Um, oh, sorry. Uh, Honourable Machova. Thank you very much, Honourable Members. Uh, I want to second uh, the the move of dealing with the SAPC board. Thank you, Chair. Okay. Hmm? Oh, the big doctor, honourable man. Thank you, <coughs> Chairperson. That that's fine. Uh, I, I just. Uh, we, 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 we've been ready to, to shortlist, so we can do that. But uh, let's get introduction, because it looks like we have new members who have joined us, so that we know who is who. I mean, this is a shortlist. It's not an ordinary committee meeting. It's a very specific project we're dealing with here. Uh, because I know that uh, if I raise the question of a quorum, I'll be told I'm delaying. But at least let's get our honourable members to be introduced to us, since uh, uh, we're going to be very rigorous, we at least should uh, refer to each other in name. Uh, I don't know if that is in order, Chairperson. I think, honourable member, it's always a good thing to get to know each other yes. and for people to open their mouths in the committee. Thank you, thank you, Chair. Uh, uh, we have uh, 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 two comrades who, who have joined us. The, they will they will introduce which are to 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 make the ANC full complement. They will they will introduce themselves. Uh, who will start from who comrade next to who cat. <coughs> no, no, no. Lina la boke na Rosina semenya. Kina le loko la parliamente. Kijer oath mo parliamente. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, thank you, Chair. My name is Nokolo Phoebe Abraham. MP. Uh, thank you very much, honorable members. I hope you will enjoy working with us. We appreciate your coming. Thank you very much. So the agenda has been adopted, but honorable members, they, I don't know whether I'm spoiling things now. The issue of uh, MDDA, I don't think we have reached a point where we say we'll drop uh, the shortlisting. As far as I know, we're on track. It's just that we have to prioritize according to the strategy. Uh, hence, we had to appro prioritize this function. But uh, I see your hand, Honorable Kalaku. No, Chair. Uh, 
Uh, you are correct. My understanding is that we are not dropping. We are pressed by time now for this SABC thing. But uh, it it will be until I the rumors you are talking about. Also, I know them. I've heard them. You are correct. But uh, at the moment, they, that cannot be a, a a a reason or justification from us, because until the minister come before us and uh, and engage and explain that, uh, or we get a, a a clear you know official thing from the ministry and the department. So my, 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 my understanding was not uh, dropping until such time we get that. You know. So, on, honorable members, let's then continue with our work. Uh, the item then, really the main item is on shortlisting. Yes, Honourable. Uh, as per um, usually what we do here, it's a pity we didn't meet before this because there was this up and down, up and down. I will request just will be given just a, a 10 minutes to just interact as parties on names we have and see if we are not going to, to make the process easy, if we are not going to, to, to meet each other halfway. Uh, to so that uh, we don't spend time arguing about names. Definitely, there will there will be those that we argue about. But this might uh, I, I wanted just to request that uh, that that break. So there is a, a request for political party representatives to meet. I don't know whether there is an office. So we'll we'll then adjourn for ten minutes to allow the political party uh, interaction and then what what is 10 minutes we'll proceed at 22 to 11 thank you very much
thank you very much. We have all heard the names as they were called out and also the emphasis that uh, uh, really the final determination will be the presentation of members, the interviews, and of course the needed skills when we interview. Thank you very much. Uh, Honorable Fanda. Yes, Chair, um, you're absolutely correct. Um, we make this decision based on CVs. Obviously, we're going to do more intensive research once we have the short list uh, of all the candidates. So on our side, Mr. Itani Tietzi, number 220. Um, Mr. Rowan Nichols, 178. Mr. Mfano Zwele Shozi, number 230. Ms. Nogozola Ahrens, number 95. Ms. Mabato Ramakoshi, 196. Uh, Mr. William Malema Ramoshaba, I don't think there's relation to Mr. Julius Malema. What? <laughs> His middle name Malema, Lord. William Malema Ramashaba, number 198. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. We have heard all those names. Uh, We have uh, number 72 and number 155. Just for the record, have the names. Oh. Number 72 is Dr. Uh, Maria So So Tikwa and uh, number one fifty five is the former CEO uh, Lulama Mukubo. Uh, thank you very much. These are the these are the names then that uh, we have, which uh, now are public knowledge, as we are expected to make the, the public aware. Uh, I assume they'll be on the parliamentary website. Yeah. Yeah, so. Okay. Yes, yes, Thanks, Jay. And now that we have a short list, while we're still here, we have the important matter of the chairperson of ICASA. Um, two meetings ago, we decided that we will draft a resolution um, as in terms of the ICASA Act, saying that he no longer qualifies for the board for presentation at the National Assembly. So can we please finalize that so that we can uh, put that to the National Assembly? I think the matter has been delayed for too long because uh, we've been focused on other issues, but that's an important one. So if we can uh, agree on the wording of the resolution now and finish it up since we still have time, and then it can be put for, to the NA. Thanks, Chair. Yeah, okay. Honorable. No, Chair, uh, I agree. I don't have a problem. You can look into that. I wanted us to dispose of this one. Mm. Where we, because we are on this one, we dispose of it. Because I wanted to put something on, uh, to say something around it. Okay. The shortlisting, I really were finished oh, then. The, I wanted yeah. so that we get into the. Into, mm. Okay. Um, 
The secretary will then take us through the report so that we formally adopt it on the shortlist. Thank you very much. Thank you, Chairperson, and good morning, honorable members. This is the progress report of the Portfolio Committee on Communications on the filling of eight vacancies on the South African uh, Broadcasting Corporation Board, dated 28 February 2019. The Portfolio Committee on Communications, having, request, having considered the request of the Minister of Communication and the President of the Republic of South Africa to commence with the filling of eight vacancies on the SAPC Board, reports as follows. A letter dated 10 May 2018 was received from the Minister of Communications informing the National Assembly of the resignations of Ms. Rachel Kalidas and Ms. Phoebe Porchitar Kubule from the SABC Board, as well as the declining by Ms. Nomvuiso Baki of the offer to be appointed to the Board, and requesting the National Assembly to recommend candidates for appointment in terms of Section 13 of the Broadcasting Act for the unexpired portion of the period for which Ms. Kalidas and Ms. Porchitar Kubule were appointed, and uh, for the unexpired portion for which uh, Ms. Baji would have been appointed. A second letter dated 11 July 2018 was received from the Minister of Communications informing the National Assembly of the resignation of Mr. Victor Rambau in terms of Section 15.2 of the Broadcasting Act from the SABC Board with effect from 29 June 2018 and requesting the National Assembly to recommend a candidate for appointment in terms of Section 13 of the Broadcasting Act for the unexpired portion of the period for which Mr. Rambau was appointed, which is until 15 October 2022. The committee advertised the call for persons to be nominated to serve on the SABC board and received 80 nominations. On 16 October, the committee deliberated and unanimously agreed that the following candidate be shortlisted for interviews. Mr. Kevin Jones, Advocate Likala Kala Muchedi, Mr. Taboli Shilo, Mr. T Deliza Matikiza, Ms. Unati Makwenchu, Ms. Vuyokaz Makubalo, Mr. Matthews Mufukeng, Ms. Benedict Muthien, Mr. Michen Naidu, Ms. Toza Manene, Mr. Michael Nurik, and Ms. Jasmina Patel. The names of the shortlisted candidates were published on the parliamentary website for public comment for a period of seven working days. The interviews were scheduled for Tuesday, 30 October 2018 and later postponed to 6 November 2018 due to unavailability of candidates. However, a number of candidates withdrew from the process before the committee could conduct interviews. It was at this stage that the committee resolved to re-advertise the, uh, the four SABC board vacancies together with the four new vacancies which arose as a result of the resignation of Mr. Krishna Idu, Ms. Kanyisi Lekweyama, Mr. John Mattison, and Mr. Matata Tsedu. The eight vacancies were re-advertised on 11 December 2018 with a closing date of 21 December 2018. An additional 153 applications were received which when added with the previous applications totaled 233. On 19 February, the committee met to discuss the SABC board appointment process and on 28 February, which is today, the committee agreed that the following candidates be shortlisted for interviews for the SABC board. Mr. Gift Butelezi, Advocate Benjamin Likalakala, Mr. Ngosana Mbokane, Advocate Matthews Mufukeng, Ms. Mamudupi Mutlala Mulawuti, Ms. Benedict Muthian, Ms. Jasmine Patel, Advocate Nakedi Ribane, Dr. Mashia Sotikwa, Mr. Sipile Butelezi, Prof. Seth Cooper, Mr. David Maimela, Mr. Mbia Kemkolo, Advocate Lufuno Nivondwe, Ms. Mary Papaya, Chief Lubuwani Matila, Mr. Sembitanana, Mr. Itani Tieti, Mr. Rowan Nichols, Mr. Mfano Zelwe Shozi, Ms. Noguzola Erens, Mr. Ramahoshi, Mr. William Malima Ramushaba, and Ms. Lulama Mukob. Thank you, Chairperson. Thank you very much. Here's the report. Can I get a mover and a seconder? I move for adoption of the report, Chair. Thank you. Thank you. Chair, I 
second the motion. Thank you. The report that we adopted. Okay. Okay. Um. Well, with regard to the issue of the chairperson of ICASA, the committee was clear, unambiguous, in terms of wanting to ensure that uh, the resolution which was developed by the committee be implemented ASP. I, I think the Secretariat will really have to uh, engage the legal services section of Parliament so as to ensure that uh, we don't delay any further. Uh, we, we hope you can get cl clearance from them as soon as possible. Please, yeah. Yes, yes, Chair, as they develop the the, the, the the resolution, I wanted to propose, because we were, we were clear, we take a clear decision that the Chair must be removed. So they must develop it for submission to, to the presiding officers so that it goes to the... Pro I, members, I'm avoiding... For, it come back again, it delays, uh, it, it works for, it wait for the meeting again to convene. It was very clear that the chair must be removed now, so that processes of ICASA can continue without having a threat of being, being challenged. Thank you very much, uh, Honorable Kalako. The Secretary wanted to talk to this as well. Thank you, Chairperson, once again. Chairperson, just to assist members, uh, previously the committee adopted a report which recommended removal. However, that report was returned to the committee for further consideration, and it was then the committee adopted another report uh, uh, recommending suspension until the finalization of the matter. And that report was tabled. However, Chairperson, uh, after the latest developments, we have already consulted with legal, which I believe they are also in consultation with Mr. Musaloha's legal representation to ascertain uh, exactly what is being appealed, which will then assist this committee going forward. Thank you, Chair. We should be having a, a feedback very soon, Chair. Thank you so much. Yeah, but, but what's important is really the decision that the resolution of the committee. Honorable Yeah, that, that, that report is uh, not assisting. The, we want the removal of the, of the chairperson, so we want a resolution that allows us to say he's removed. And then it can be defeated in Parliament, but that's what we're looking for. Uh, we don't want a consultation with his lawyers, because whether there's an appeal or not, it matters not to us. It's no longer material. I thought what he's going to say in the final, he's not listening, this secretary. I'm saying that we're not interested in what you said, Chief. What we want is a draft resolution which says he is no longer the Casa Chairperson, and therefore uh, it, then the process must kickstart uh, to replace him. And there shouldn't be consultation with Parliament should not be talking to his lawyers. I'm very shocked, actually. Because once the court took a decision, uh, we don't care if there's an appeal or not. The institution of ICASA cannot be held at ransom like that. So can you give us a resolution? If you don't have it, then we must decide whether we're doing it for ourselves. Because then we don't have a secretary. Or we take a decision, Honorable Kalago, that that will serve as the first item on Tuesday before we proceed with the interviews, so that it can serve in Parliament. I take it that you will want to, at that stage, that's the only time you consult with the lawyers of Parliament how to properly weigh such a resolution. Not consult with the lawyers of a person found guilty of how we're going to draft our own resolution. Uh, so I'm not uh, I'm not sure if it, it's it's uh, loud and clear. When can't you allow me to finish? 
You keep saying, sorry, sorry, sorry. It's disrupting. <laughs> That's not an excuse. Are you done, Honorable? Thank you, I'm done for your protection as well. You don't protect us from Baba. <laughs> I don't. Nobody protects me. I fight my battles, so maybe you must fight your battles as well. Honorable Fanda. Thanks, Chair. Yes, um, see, there was. Uh, this guy was found guilty a long time ago. And a mistake was made that his lawyers consulted with the speaker's office and they made a deal, which was wrong because we as this committee are the people who appoint the Casa Council. So the deal that was made with the speaker was illegal. So he has now been convicted uh, and he's appealing his sentence, not his conviction. And in terms of the Casa Act conviction, means you are disqualified. It's sufficient. So as Honorable Ndlozi said, just please draft a resolution. Uh, it's very simple. In terms of section Banban of the Casa Act, Mr. Ruben Moshilocha no longer qualifies to serve on the Ikasa Council. Please go. Simple. Honorable Baba, thank you. No, Chair, I think despite of what may have been raised now, I think it's fair that uh, we propose that on next Tuesday the matter serve before us, then we really look at it and that resolution and then so that we then could have it agreed to. Thanks, Chair. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, Honorable Fanda. You do you want to? Yes, Chair. Um, I don't know if, because we've got time now, if maybe Tembungosi can, uh, we can already as a committee together put something together. Maybe Tembungosi has already written something he can read to us and then it can go to the National Assembly so that next week we can just deal with interviews. Uh, Tembungosi, you've done this thing before, my friend. Come on. <laughs> wanted to. No, I wanted to protect him because when we discussed this, he was off sick. The committee was resolute. You know, he, he, I had even spoken to the deputy speaker that we can no longer wait on the day when he was uh, sentenced. So that's why he's a little... The, the resolution that the committee came up with, I mean, is a very good one. I think all what we need is to make sure that it's submitted. Yeah. He was off sick. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Okay. Thank you very much, uh, honorable members. Meeting agent. Thank you. Thank you.